In this video, we'll look at how to set and check a slide restrictor in your carburetor. The biggest advantage in using a slide restrictor is it allows the carburetor to function with the proper engine signal and optimum manifold velocity for consistent air fuel metering. That translates into performance as designed. Flat plate restrictors interrupt the engine signal, disrupt consistent manifold pressure, creating lean conditions from loss of fuel atomization, in rich conditions because of fuel pooling. These conditions lead to a compromise that ultimately affects engine performance and the user experience. A slide restrictor eliminates these issues, is simple in nature, and allows for a wider range of error without impacting you on the racetrack. For simplicity, we will look at the slides designed for the Canadian 206 program. Note each slide varies in overall length and is easily identified by color. The key components are as follows, the slide, a locking cap, a caliper, a razor blade, and the proper drill blank for reference. Drill blanks or rods are readily available through any tool or parts distributor such as McMaster car, etc. Let's look at the 350 novice slide. The rule set has a maximum slide opening of 310 thousandths. This height was chosen so a drill blank or rod could be used for a quick reference. In this case, a 7.8 millimeter bit measures 307 thousandths. We always recommend a quick validation of the bit size using calipers. Although a drill bit can be used in a pinch, we wouldn't recommend it because most drill bits have been used. Tighten it with the chuck too far or the bit slips in the drill and you have a burr that could affect your setting. With this, let's check the slide height. First, unscrew the cap, removing the stock slide and spring. Push the needle out carefully, not to damage the tip. Transfer the needle and retaining clip onto the new slide. Taking a partially assembled throttle cable for the ease of demonstration, I have reassembled the system to demonstrate how to initially set the slide height. Once set, future setting is a breeze. With the cap lightly screwed down so adjustments can be made, I will lift the throttle cable and place the drill bit blank we are using for reference in the throttle bore. In this case, the cap can be tightened with enough pressure so no simple modification is required. I can go ahead and final assemble the system, regauge the slide height, and lock the cap in place. You're ready to race. So what happens if there is not enough play in the carburetor cap to lock tightly and still fall within the required lift. The precision of the Walbro carburetor machining allows for a high level of overall repeatability, but the throttle slide stop is a cast surface. This is because, in a conventional setup, a cast variance will not affect performance. The slide is well out of the throttle bore in stock configuration. Because the surface is cast and our need for repeatability, Sometimes it may be necessary to remove a few thousandths of material for ease of fit. The majority of the time, the rubber gasket gives us enough safety factor because it allows us to fine tune with a crush of around 15 thousandths. To demonstrate this scenario, let's pretend we've reset this system up and deem that the play in the cap is looser than we want. We always want the cap to lock hand tight. So let's show you how easy it is to make this adjustment. Remove the rubber gasket from the cap with care using a razor blade. A simple piece of 150 grit sandpaper wrapped around bar stock is all that's needed. So we need to take a few thousandths off the cap. Taking the bar stock wrapped in sandpaper, go back and forth approximately 10 times to make sure to put equal pressure across the surface ensuring a level cut. Always make sure to use soap and water to remove any loose material so it does not enter the carburetor. So let's put it back together and check. Okay. 
As you can see, the cap is now snug and the height is set. At this point, we can reassemble everything and lock the cap in place. So how is the height checked at the track? There are several variations tracks currently use. The simplest approach is to use a drill bit blank that matches the maximum slide opening. For the 350 novice, the maximum allowable height is 310 thousandths. The corresponding drill bit blank is a 7.9 millimeter blank which at 311 thousandths gives us a 1 thousandths cushion like most tech tools. Another tool available where tech tools are sold is actually two tools in one. The rod is a no-go that checks the front of the slide. The more predominant part of this tool checks the back slide height. This tool should start but stop before the vertical bar touches the air filter adapter. This is a properly set carburetor. Note the bar does not touch the carburetor. This is what it looks like when the slide height is more than the maximum rule allows. The bar touches the carburetor, showing that the slide is allowed to open beyond the maximum setting. Setting and checking a slide restrictor is an incredibly simple approach to power restriction. It is easy to set, repeatable, and allows the engine to perform without compromise. Let's go racing.